Welcome to the final dribble tutorial where I will be revealing all of my dribbling secrets. And all I ask for right now, drop a like and make sure you drop a comment. I respond to all my comments. I love all y'all. Dub Prince, 10K on the way. We taking over. Let's get it. So make sure you put these dribble moves on. And I know some of you guys might be skeptical. Some of you might be new and don't know who the prince is, who you know what I really do on this 2K shit. Well, let me show you what's really good, my nigga. <laughs> you don't really want smoke, you ain't got that shit. I've been cruising on the block with a badass bitch. With my mind on the tips and it's not on my hip. Fuck then I dip, say I'm finna take a trip. You don't really want smoke, you ain't got that shit. I've been cruising on the block with a badass bitch. With my mind on the tips and it's not on my hip. Fuck then I dip, say I'm finna take a trip. Yeah. Nigga too icy, I pull up in layers. Don't need a blade, I'm still gonna slay your mind on the bread, but I'm not a baker. Need a teaspoon the way I get paid. I don't fuck with 12, don't fuck. No room. I do fuck a gun, so hand me that room. Girl, pass me the gas, I'm finna get higher. Don't need a test, I know she a liar. Niggas dumb as hell, they don't got no bread, but won't bail. They don't fuck with nobody, but won't mail. Don't send me your tape, it won't sell. Yo, I'm sorry, hope that I couldn't be your Romeo. Cause you was too focused on Julio. So now that y'all have witnessed what I can do in the park, let's stop playing games and hop to my court, bro. Let's get it. So first things first, we're in the pro am. Can be in the pro am my court, you know, the black top, whatever you want to be. But I'm personally in the pro am arena. And first things first, what I gotta say, man, is that dribbling is all about repetition, timing, and practice. The more time you put into it, the better you'll get. And you all seem to realize that even when you feel like you're doing the correct, you know, movement on like that I'm doing, there might be something differently that you're doing with the timing, you know. So, you know, dribbling is a very, you know, it, it's once you get it down, you get it down. It's pretty much how it works. When you have it down, you have it down, you know, have it in your bag forever. But you just can't give up. Don't be lame because I know a lot of y'all have to try to dribble like me since patch, you know, since, no, I don't even know, like, you know, November, bro. So it's been a minute. But I'm not only going to teach all the advanced stuff, I'm going to teach you the basic stuff to get you open. So I'm going to start with this with simple moves and then I'm going to, you know, get more. More advanced, more advanced. So, you know, if you already know the basic moves, bro, I'm just gonna help out the people who are new. You can kind of skip towards. I'm gonna give you a timestamp on the screen right now to where I start the advanced movement. But now I'm gonna give y'all, you know, some easy moves that you can do to get open every time, you know. Because I know a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all don't want to be spinning, spinning in circles like me. So I'm gonna just keep it simple for y'all boys, okay? So the first move I'm gonna show y'all like is the head, the what's called the cross speed boost, okay? The very simple cross speed boost, okay? So pretty much, you know, this dribble style I right, is a new meta which people use is this back to forth movement that's pretty overpowered, okay? I'm telling you this right now, you can I can lose to this, okay? If you know how to play the game, you can definitely beat people with that just base movement without knowing any of the moves. It's cheesy, it's not hard to do, and it's probably one of the least skilled things to do in the game. So, pretty much, all you gotta do is when you wanna start speed boosting, okay? So basically a trick I'm giving y'all, if you're standing still and want to speed boost, the best way, in my opinion, is to do it in between the legs, which is, the, which is diagonally down to the left with your right stick, so it's gonna look like that. And then as you do it between the legs to one side, so I'm gonna go from right to left, I'm gonna run to the left side, you feel me? And then after that, okay, all you gotta do is after that, just run, flick up on your right stick, okay? But hold R2 while you do it. Hold R2 while you do it, and then do it between the legs going the other way. So all together, it'll look like this. Hezzy between the legs, okay? Hezzy between the legs, hezzy between the legs, hezzy between the legs, hezzy between the legs. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because, you know, I don't want y'all to get pissed at the, no, the, I know a lot of y'all know how to do that. I don't want y'all to get, you know, bored of it, you feel me? So now, what next you need to learn is the hezzy right here, okay? Very simple move, okay? So hezzy, you just move, you know, it's you no know, light so blue to like, put into your like combos, I guess. So pretty much how you do it, bruh, just hold R2 and then flip right to left and it'll give you this hezzy move. Depending on your size of package, it will, it will look differently. And then one thing I'm gonna show you, uh, another thing I'm gonna show you is the escape. This escape dribble right here, it's pretty OP. I you know also differentiates based on your, you know, dribble style, your SIGs, but it's very simple. You just hold R2 and flip down on the right stick, okay? So those are some base, easy moves that you can combine. So let's say I can, you know, combine these, you know, do a hezzy cross, hezzy cross, do a hezzy, come here, you know, do a treat, and then, you know, do it between the legs and speed boost. If you just use those three moves, that I showed you, you'll be able to move around and be able to score at will efficiently. 
But now we're gonna move into you know, kind of more advanced stuff, you dig? So, you know, one thing that people will always be asking me, how do you do the momentum hop step? It's very simple, bruh. Very simple. The momentum hop step is definitely a great move to create space for your defender. But the first thing, first things first, you gotta learn, of course, the momentum is the same as 18 and 19, okay? The same, is that hasn't changed. All you gotta do is hold down your right trigger, bruh, and then flick your right and left stick the same sides, okay? You feel me? So it's gonna give you that kind of little, you know, speed boost dribble, that arcade style dribble. And then after that, all you wanna do is hold your left stick diagonally down to the opposite side that you're momentum to. So I'm momentum, momentuming right to left, okay? So then because I'm going from right to left, I want to flick my, I want to hold my left stick after that diagonally down, you know, going back to the right side, okay? And then once you do that, as, you know, the same time you hold your left stick diagonally down to the, you know, the right side, you also want to tap the square butt. So it's going like this all together. And so now that's the full combo. If you don't understand what I'm saying, of course, I got the two hand cams on the screen that will help y'all boys out. But, you know, those are very, you know, that's another simple move that you can do. And so now I'm going to get into another move that I you know people have been asking me to do something I personally came up with myself without anybody telling me how to do it. I was one of the first people on YouTube, you know, one of the first two YouTubers to do this, I cannot lie. And I call it the misdirection in between the legs, okay? It's like the misdirection behind the back, you no, know, before the behind the back was passed, but now with the crossover, very OP, okay? You know, I see a lot of YouTubers using it now, like Grinding DF, people use this now, okay? It's pretty, you know, it's a pretty meta move to use now. So pretty much what you want to do is just run to speed boost to one side, whatever you got do you gotta do it between the legs or whatever the speed was to one side then let go of everything okay and after you let go of everything your next move you want to be is a between the legs to the other direction and then after you do it between the legs you just want to speed boost and what i mean by speed boost is just hold r2 and then you know hold your left stick diagonally diagonally up so pretty much how it's going to look like i so let's say i speed boost here i pause between the legs and then go the other way i'm telling you you will kill people with this you go here boom change directions okay it's an easy way to change directions quickly because this movement can get you know, a little boring you hit with this and then you can drive to the rack or shoot a three or do whatever you know do whatever you want to but that's another slightly very slightly advanced move that you might want to learn and so now this is the start of my personal dribble style what i personally do how i personally get to a bucket some very simple moves okay and you know these are the spin moves i showed in the start of the video if you missed that you know i will go back and check it out but i'm telling you right now right now you you know you might be coming into this thing it's gonna be easy but i'm telling you this right now you gotta focus you gotta lock in it's not gonna be light work you know it might have some problems with it i'm gonna tell you this right now you might be confused it's gonna be difficult you're not gonna get it in one try it might take you a week or i would say it should take you two weeks maximum to learn my dribble style so the first thing i'm gonna show y'all is this move right here which is very simple which is the basic one spin back okay very simple this is the standing basic one spin back uh, this is the spin back that I can do off you know when you're standing still and you're not moving so it's very simple all right in order to half spin with the ball in your right hand you want to rotate your right stick from three to 12 counterclockwise so it looks like this okay and it will give you that animation that's your standing still all right and then what you want to do you do an in between the legs okay an in between the legs okay and then you want to do a full spin for a basic one full spin i call it kind of like a full spin okay what what is a full spin you're just rotating your right stick that uh, counterclockwise from 12 to i would say counterclockwise to 12 to around like eight is pretty much where i go you know i just go like that and the and you no know, this is one of those you no know, those finesse moves okay this is where the this is one of those moves you no know, for these for this movement you got to realize that the left stick is just as important okay the left stick is just as important because it will dictate where you spin back okay so for this after the hats between the legs and the full spin you want to hold keep on holding your left stick you no know, pay attention to my left stick where i'm holding it okay i'm holding it kind of diagonally down kind of to the right you feel me so I come straight back, okay? So see on, you can see on my hand cam, uh, my left stick is all the way to the left, and this will, this is what will give you the spin back animation, and will have you go straight back, okay? So I'm first starter, very simple move, okay? And now we're gonna get into some of the print style shit. Oh, hold up, I'm gonna teach you all another simple move that you can do to get open. It's this half spin behind the back, okay? I don't know why, but this move is super OP. It's very difficult, you know, it's very useful in my opinion, because when people press you, it's, uh, it's you can't cancel this animation. You have to stop, you have to be in front of it. So it's very simple. With my six on, you gotta have my six on, it won't look the same, but you know, 
You can start with, you can do it with, with either hand. You can do a half, I'm gonna do a half swing right here, of course. It's a three to 12 counterclockwise. And then without holding R2, what you wanna do is just hold your left stick up and then and flick down on the right, on the, flick down on the right stick so it's gonna look like that. So it's very simple, bro. Half spin, aim your left stick, you know, towards the basket and then just flick down and then it'll give you this half spin. Behind the back move, which is honestly super OP, bro. I can't lie to you. And this will be used in other, you know, combinations. So you gotta know, you gotta know those moves, okay? But now I'm gonna get into, you know, my main signature move, the main move that people have been asking me how to do since <laughs> November, bro. It's my dub print sideways sit spin, and I've actually changed it. You can do it both ways now. I like, you know, I usually do it in videos. I always do it that way, but you can also do it going forwards, okay? And this move is the start okay this is the start this is the basis for learning the my entire dribble style if you can't get this move down don't skip fat past it i'm telling you right now it's only gonna get way harder from here so might as well get this done and over with okay so you know if you don't understand what i'm doing from the hand cam so just you know high start every has been uh, combo you should, should you should know by now bruh a simple has been going from three to twelve okay a simple has been going from three to twelve and after that you want to do it in between the legs okay you want to do an in between the legs. I'm only going over the left, the right stick movement now. Okay, the left stick and right stick are both important, but right now we're only talking about the right stick. So, you no, know, to start it off, you want to do a half spin between the legs. Simple. And then between the legs is the agony down, the right or left. So I'm starting with my right hand. So I'm going to go diagonally down to the left to give me, you know, uh, between the legs going from right to left. It's going to look like that. Very simple. Okay. And then we want to go from this from moving like that. We want to go to moving, okay, you want to go to moving like this, going sideways, okay? And this is very similar to the spin back, but the main difference is your left stick. Make sure you are aware of your left stick, where it's pointed, okay? So, after, after the full spin back, which is, so the steps are first half spin between the legs, but then you want to do the spin back, which is from 12 to 9 backwards, okay? Uh, Counterclockwise, so it's going to look, so like, if you didn't move your left stick, that's how you're gonna do, gonna look like. You're gonna look like you're doing the spin back, but you wanna go sideways. So after you do the full you no know, the full basic one spin, which is you no know, 12 to 8 counterclockwise, you want to rotate your left stick going to the left side. It's obvious. You don't want to go back, you don't want to go to the right, you want to go to the left. So after you know I do my full spin, I'm instantly boom going and holding my left stick to the left side, okay? This is something that people overlook, which is probably the most difficult thing about this move is moving your left stick. Boom. See, saw that right there? Saw how I moved my left stick and now I'm going sideways? See, like you just gotta you know, pay attention. I'm really trying to break this down my the best of my ability. I cannot lie. So it's gonna look like this. Now you're gonna be looking like this, okay? And that, this is a bad animation. You can't shoot off it. You can't really drive off it. But what you wanna do is finish it and have it look like this, okay? And the way that we look like this, the way that I can break down this move easy for you is I'm, after I go sideways, I'm doing a crossover, then a hezzy to get me standing still, primed to shoot or rim run, okay? So let's say I'm you no know, coming here, coming sideways. Now I can shoot or I can rim run, okay? So how you can do this, okay, how you finish this move after you got the spin going sideways, very simple, which will basically, the combination I'm gonna show, I wanna show it to y'all standing still. You wanna flick your right stick right to left, and then flick up on your right stick and at the same time so it's gonna, it's gonna look like that okay it's gonna be like bow bow after you're going sideways okay this is the sideways spin coming here boom pow wide open green or you you're creating an opening for a rim run that's as much as i can explain that move if you can't get it from that explanation i don't know what to do for you i try to break it down as much as possible but you can also do it of course the other way okay and how do you do it the other way this time you when you do what's it called uh, what's it called? When you do your, uh, you don't need to do a full spin. All I have to do is a half spin between the legs and then flick left to right and then do a hezzy. This is honestly the easier way, the easier ways to go to your, the ball, you know, your ball hand side because you don't have to do the full spin and the rotation, but it's very simple. You can just hold your left stick to going from to the pointing towards the right side the whole time without even thinking about it. So, you know, start it out with a half spin between the legs. Okay. Very simple. And it's the same thing that we did for the other way, okay? We're, instead of going from right to left, we're going to go crossover left to right after the between the legs and then flick up on the right stick. I'm telling you this right now, but I'm breaking this very slow and down for y'all so that y'all don't get confused, okay? 
And so now, this is where it gets difficult and it's more difficult for me to explain. So, no apologize if I stutter. I'm going to put some text on the screen to help y'all boys out. But, you know, we in here, bruh. And now we're going to go to the double cross. Okay, the double cross. One of my favorite moves this year. I've sold it right there. But, you know, y'all know my returning subs know this move. My double cross move. Okay, I do this all the time. Okay. You know, I usually use it in combinations. And this is one of the steps that you need to, you know, be able to, you know, spin endlessly. Because, you know, like, I can do this. Okay, so that move is very basic, right? But, you know, if you have IQ, you can, you know, make it something into more beautiful. Like, no, I sold. But, you know, that, that move is very simple, but you know, want to make it more OP, okay, if I do this. This is the start to building more, okay? This is the start where you get, you know, start, you know, spinning in circles endlessly, okay? So, you know, don't take this lightly. Make sure you lock in right now, okay? So, you no know, congratulations. If you're at this point, you should have mastered the, you know, the, the Prince signature move going the other way, you feel me? So, basically, you're doing the same thing. But instead of doing after the full spin back... The, the full spin down like this and you're going sideways instead of doing a crossover then a hezzy you're gonna do a double cross super fast okay you're gonna flick your right stick right then left very quick okay you're not gonna wait you're not gonna go like ooh and then boom nope bow bow okay y'all can hear my sticks moving excuse me so now putting it all together i can't explain this any slower if you have already mastered the previous step this should be a very you no know, easy you no know, next jump you're basically going half spin between the legs have full spin, then sideways, and then you're gonna do a double cross, okay? So all together, gonna look very, you no, know, like, gonna look like this. You feel me? Double cross, and it, you no, know, this is a very easy way to rim run, okay? You can do this on the other side. You gotta flip, you no. Know, if you wanna do it to uh, with the left hand, of course you can just flip it. But I like to do it, sorry, with my right hand at all times. But y'all can obviously use your brain and flip it, you know, if you wanna do it the other way. But you know, that's how you do the double crossover. One of my favorite moves on 2K20. And now we're gonna learn the cross behind. Okay, the cross behind is very difficult for me to teach, so I'm gonna kind of break it down for y'all. Okay, the cross behind can give you two animations. That's the first one. It can either give you the slow and that's a slow animation, and I'm gonna teach y'all how to chain out of the slow animation and the fast animation. And sometimes it'll give you the fast one. Okay, I don't know what's it called the the I don't know personally. And then this is where I'm going to show y'all my own faults. I don't know personally the way to trigger the slow and fast one. But I know if y'all know y'all have seen me do the slow and fast one, you feel me? That's the fast one. There we go. That's the fast cross behind. You can, you can, what's it called? You can, uh, you can combo out of both of them. They both work, you know, pretty much the same. It's not that important, which, you know, uh, which one you get. But you need to differentiate differentiate the two pretty much whenever i do a cross behind i see whichever i get the fast or slow one and then i then move on a dime think very quick and then go on to the next move okay that's pretty much what you gotta do but first i gotta teach y'all the cross behind okay so it's very simple move to do okay it's very nice move to chain out of as y'all have seen in my clips you pretty much want to do the same thing as my first move i'm telling you everything stems from my first move but instead of doing a crossover then a hezzy you're gonna do a crossover then a behind the back. Very simple. It's a very simple, you know, a, v a very simple idea. You feel me? You could come here and then cross behind. Th that time it gave me the fast cross behind. And the cross behind will allow you to chain more combos, okay? So it's going to let this cross behind, okay? I can't really explain this style anymore. I'm being serious with y'all. I'm trying to plug y'all as much as possible. I want to have y'all out here dribbling like me. But, you know, that's the cross behind. It's just a, what's it called? A half spin going one way cross over creates a cross it's a right left crossover then you flick down the right stick then it'll give you that animation and that is literally oh pretty much all of my moves and y'all might be oh but those are all your moves i see you do all no i'm telling you literally those are all my moves everything else is just how you use your iq and how you chain your you know chain uh moves together but now i'm not gonna leave you hanging like the last dribble tutorial i'm gonna walk y'all through okay I would say there'll be you no know, one move that I do gotta show y'all. I can't lie, is is what's called the around the world. Okay, this around the world move is all oh, is super nice when you put it in clips. It makes the clip look way better. You know, I feel like it's one of the best moves on 2K20. One of the best moves that you can do for fan. You no, know, to be fancy, just isn't gonna help you score. Don't think it will. It will not help you score. Okay, it's better just to do a you no know, crossover or just shoot or just you know do something simple. But if y'all wanna learn, you no know, dribble like me gotta learn this cross behind okay the, the, the around the world my fault okay and this move i gotta break it down okay i gotta break it down i gotta talk slow so y'all gotta rock with me for me so the first thing that you want to do is first 
going to the right side. Okay, don't move your no look at my no look at my controller, but you want to do a cross behind going that way, okay? And then right after you do the cross behind, you want to do a, a left to right crossover while holding your left stick to the what's called to the left side, okay? The opposite way that you're going, okay? That's what gives you this animation right here. So I do the cross behind, then I rotate my left stick and then do a cross. So I messed up right there, let me do it again. So here has been cross behind and then I move my left stick to do a crossover that's the animation that makes me go facing the other way that's what starts the glitchiness okay and then off of this animation right here where you're, you're the balls in your right hand but you're kind of looking toward you know looking backwards you know, from where you came from you kind of kind of did a 180 right there you feel me you can either do another cross behind or you can do a double crossover okay and I know y'all you know use your brains you can also watch my hand cam y'all know what a cross behind work what a double cross is so I'm going backwards can do a double cross ooh and now I can chain out of that okay and so now this is where I really start to plug y'all this is where this is where the real plugging starts out of every double cross okay out of every double cross you can do a half spin and continue the chain and out of every slow cross behind, you can do a half spin. So what am I talking about? Right here, I'm going to do a double cross. And I can start with another half spin. And what does this half spin do? It makes it so that you can do any direction you want to go. You can move any direction. You can spin right, spin left, spin back, you do whatever. This is what allows me to chain. Okay, double cross, half spin. Ooh, now I'm going to do a around the world, okay? But now... I did a slow cross behind. Okay, that's very no. Y'all saw I just did a slow cross behind right there. How it took it, it was slow and did a half spin. That also allows you to chain out of it. Okay, so no, all these moves are coming full circle. I think y'all kind of understand what I'm talking about now. So out of a cross behind, you can also do a half spin between your legs, double cross, half spin. You know, you can keep on going, keep on chaining. Yes, these animations do mess up sometimes. You know, sometimes it's your timing and everything, but no, I'm kind of messing up a little bit because I'm trying to explain it while dribbling. But you see how I'm, you no, know, chaining out of all these animations. You can chain out of a double cross and a slow cross behind. But let's say if they gave you a fast cross behind, okay? If they gave you a fast cross behind, you can do what's it called a double cross and then do a half spin. There we go. That's a perfect example. Whenever it gives you a fast cross behind just automatically have it in your head do a double cross because that will allow you to chain more or kill people you never know someone can't might be lacking and you hit them with that and they're done bro but pretty much that is how you dribble like me those are literally i'm telling you those are all the moves that i use I, i've used in all my mixtapes my videos with three point my any other any other youtube no any with any other youtuber but those are all the moves i have used i showed y'all and i hope i kept it short and sweet for y'all that's literally all the moves i showed y'all but now i'm gonna show y'all combos okay i'm gonna show y'all combos okay so the first combo i'm gonna show y'all a double cross into a half spin into a cross behind into a half spin into a behind the back to score okay that might have been complicated but just watching on my controller okay double cross into a cross behind into a half spin into a behind the back to score okay that's a simple combo i do at this point that's what you should be capable of okay you should understand how to do that and at this point i'm gonna do some a few combos that i do all the time and hopefully y'all can pick up on the hand cam because I, I cannot talk you through every step because i've already done it you know i've already showed y'all how to do it so you know has been double cross you can do a reverse here oh i messed up i messed up let me stop okay so let's say okay let's okay first okay so for a second combo, I'm gonna teach y'all. I'm trying to teach y'all some combos to hopefully help y'all out with the note. So y'all can have a little bit more visuals on the hand cam, you feel me? But I'm gonna do a half spin, I'm gonna do a cross behind, I'm gonna do another half spin into a double cross, do a half spin between the legs, reverse, double cross, half spin between the legs, spin back. Okay, I messed up the spin back, but you know, you know, you can kind of tell where I was going there, bruh. I'm telling you. With well, this dribble style, with my dribble style, what I'm doing right now, what I've been doing for the last few months, you can dribble forever, okay? This is going to be my last dribble tutorial on basic one, maybe. I uh, If this video gets like a thousand likes, I'll drop another one, okay? I'll drop another one if you really need it. If you, I'll, I'll drop a comment if y'all need any help with you know certain moves, and I'll drop another video on it. But that is my full dribble style, bruh. I tried my best. Okay, I tried my best. I edited this. I spent hours editing this, bro. I made sure that everything was amazing. Everything worked for y'all. But, you know, I'm not going to waste any more of y'all time. I know y'all busy. You know, I love y'all for real. Y'all changed my life. 
we got it for 10k you know good ass video tomorrow i'm in my bag but you know <laughs> it's been your boy the prince your favorite african on youtube and i'm out y'all peace